Welcome back, everybody. It is time to play What's It Worth, our weekly game when we ask antiques expert Dr. Lori the value of five items sent in from the PTL mailbox. Yeah, and thanks to everyone who sent in your photos for appraisal. And we are ready to play, so let's get started. Welcome back, Dr. Lori. Good morning. Good morning. I've got some White House Easter eggs from the Easter egg roll that takes place at the White House every year. Those are fun. And in my family tradition, my Italian family, we'd have something called a pizza game, which basically is ham pie at Easter, and it was made in this bowl for years and years and years. Oh, wow, <laughs> and you still have the bowl, and wow, yeah. part of your Easter display. Very, too many carbs, but boy, it was good. <laughs> <laughs> something memorable. Yeah, that's right. You remember carbs. All right, so our first item is from Linda, and it's the Flintstones. It's this set of sort of figurines or dolls. They're little tiny toys in the figure of the Flintstones. They date to 1992. If you remember, there was a movie that came out mm -hmm. in 1992 of the Flintstones. But they're based, of course, on the 1966 characters by Hanna Barbera. So you're you're trying to guess the value of the set of four. They're about two inches tall each. What are they? And they had cars. They had the little car that he would run. You know, the little the little mm -hmm. uh, stone car and and the little house. And Dino was there, but we only have these four figures. What that are they, Linda said this. What are they made out of, Dr. Lori? They're made out of a composite material, like a molded plastic kind of material. Okay. Um, almost a resin slash plastic. Uh, they're sent in by Linda, and they're for the set of four. I so, would think because these are mass produced and they're not, they're relatively not that old, and they're not in the original packaging, that this is not going to be a really high. Value, but could all I be good, wrong, Dr. Lewis? All good reasoning. All good reasoning. Made in large numbers, right? They were produced along with a movie, which gives it a little bit of a cachet, right? Okay. Because the movie has to do it like a movie collectible, right? There's four of them for the set. You don't have the complete set because you don't see the house here and the, and some of the other uh, elements that would go with it. But Fred and Wilma, Betty and Barney are here. Okay. I'm ready to make a guess. I feel like I've seen these before. Okay. Are you ready to make a guess? Yes, I am. Okay. You can go first. $50. I said $50, too. <laughs> there were $25 for the set. That, that's what I was going to go oh. with at first. Uh, okay. So big numbers. Big numbers. When they're mass produced in large numbers, value's usually pretty low. Okay. All right, next. All right, so next we have uh, from Jeannie Red Riding Hood Planter. From the 1950s, this piece is a transfer where Red Riding Hood, uh, Red Riding Hood, <laughs> Red Riding Hood planter, pretty small, probably between four inches uh, wide and about three inches tall. It goes along with a cookie jar, which is very famous for collectors, as well as some salt and pepper shakers and other pieces of kitchen Anna. Now, is this hand painted? No, it's transferware, which means that they transfer the image onto the piece. And then they only hand paint and hand detail certain parts like the face. But the roses and those daisies are actually, or poppies and daisies, are actually transferred on. Well, do you know where this was made? Was it made anywhere that would add value to the to made the in product? Made in America. Made in America. Okay. okay. Yep. yep. All right, I and have not made in Pittsburgh. Not made in Pittsburgh. Very common. A lot of um, American countertops in the post-war era would have had Little Red Riding Hood and other nursery rhymes on them. So after World War II, the GIs come home. They have a lot of kids, and nursery rhymes are big in kitchen decoration. All right, I'm that ready to sense. go. All right, I think I'm making a wiser choice than before. Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. You're just sticking <laughs> yeah, with fifty dollars. show. All right, I'm going lower than that. I'm going forty dollars. It's worth seventy dollars. Oh, oh, you get the point. Yay. Very good. Here we go. All right. Very good, Mike. <laughs> We're off and running. We, I know we have lots more, so stay with us, Dr. Lori. You guys stay with us as well. We're going to play more of our game with Dr. Lori when we come right back here on PTL.